Hi YouTube, I hope you're all doing good. I am doing okay today. It's a little damp out. It's um, 34 degrees, cloudy, and about to rain, <laughs> I think. Probably today and tomorrow. So, yeah, I was watching a really informative video that I think the whole world could benefit from watching. It's from uh, Danish Bashire. Um, brain damage after narcissist abuse and how it affects you. This I'm, I'm really aware of and have studied all my life. And um, I actually literally did have a head injury. I got hit in the head with a bat. But that's, um, it was a long time ago, but it actually was bleeding inside my head and I had a cracked skull and it hurt for a long time. But yeah, I could function, but it made everything I did all the more harder and I had to be really careful that I didn't re-injure myself and even yelling would make my brain bleed my head on the inside, maybe not my brain in particular. Not quite sure about that, but I could feel it, you know. Well, anyway, in this video that's uh, 19 minutes and 31 seconds, it's worth a watch. Even kids that have been um, abused in any different way or to even guard yourself from the things that are going on our, in our world, uh, I'll um, read the description to you. In this episode, I talk about the impact of narcissist abuse on our brain and the changes it causes in our overall functioning. I explain the impact of survivors' physical, emotional, psychological, biochemical, and spiritual aspects and how it manifests in their behavior. The main part of the brain that are affected by narcissist abuse are the cortical regions, including the hippocampus, the limbic regions, including structures like the amygdala. Um, 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 let me see. I know I know this word, M Megdila. M I'll catch it. You know what I mean. <laughs> I don't some days you just can't say something, you know, it's the way it goes. So Amygdala. I think I just got it. <laughs> Yay! Don't give up. See? <laughs> There's proof. Um yeah, so I mean it was a super, super informative video. It, it, he goes in depth, you know. His voice is really soothing. Um, he's uh, actually uh, can teach you how to self-hypnotize yourself. You know, it's just uh, um, modes of thinking, different different tools that he gives us to work with, and that helps. I personally, no offense to him, don't need that type of thing. Because with my yoga and martial arts, and I, I don't really incorporate the religion of a yogi, but um, I got it going on. I still can. Uh, well, some days I can almost put like half of my arm down to the floor, but I can literally always touch the floor with my palms and put my head through my legs and grab the back of my legs, you know or bend way backwards and go like this, like that, and then put your arms out, you know. So, yeah, I'm limber, really. <laughs> so, anyway, try that. Stand backwards, put your arms backwards like that, and see how far you can go. Be careful you do not fall. Even trying to bend backwards without your arms, the arms extended like that, um, puts more strain on your body. So don't try it if you're not very active <laughs> because you will fall. 
you know, just like leaning forward and putting one arm out, one arm back, standing on one leg and putting one leg out parallel with your arm is called warrior pose. Now try that, <laughs> you know, that's um, really great strength training, you know. But yes, like I say on that video, um, I wonder if Pink Floyd, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, where it's um, brain damage and eclipse, them two songs. Um, you know, the lunatic is on the pot. The lunatic is in my head. You know, not him. He holds the door. Um, wait, wait. Yeah, he holds the door. He makes this, oh shoot, he's something. He re rearranged me till I'm sane. And then it's, oh, he locks the door. He holds the key. There's someone in my head, but it's not me. You know, um, the lyrics to that song are so badass for this time that we're living in. And that was written, I think, in 1970. I think 1971 or two, somewhere around in there, a long time ago, <laughs> you know. They knew what the Khazarian, um, we won't even need to say Jewish, because they're actually descended from, um, well, it's the Moabites that were like from Asia that traveled all over the place that were called the Phoenicians and literally Many of that bloodline are still, ironically, in Norway. So a lot of them descended like into Germany and the Bohemian countries and all over the world, all over. They infiltrated everybody and they raped and pillaged and stole and connived and swindled everywhere they went. And that's what they do. And there's many of their offsprings out here right now trying to do the same thing to people and think like... Um, they're going to continue to do it on this planet and that that's the way things are going to go. No, no, no. Because there's people like me and I'm, believe me, going to live a long time and be on their ass for a very long time. And I'm not giving up. And yes, I can kick their ass. So I'm not just sitting here flapping my mouth. You know, it's like, bring it on you because I do not like anything about you. People that use people and do anything that they want to do on this planet. Running people over, um, you know, metaphorically, you know, or actually, I actually saw that one time. I was uh, in Houston, Texas on the highway that's coming in there and I stopped to use the phone booth back in the day. So I'm in this phone booth and I seen this great big car. It was either like a Lincoln or a Caddy. Um, wasn't paying too much attention to the car, but the boy that was running across the street that was had dark skin and this car tried to mow him down and I'm on the phone and I'm like, I can't believe what I just saw. Somebody trying to kill another human being. You know, and that was, I bet, that was probably 1970 or 71. Terrible, right? No, it was about 71 or 72, right in there. So, 15 years old, that totally freaked me out. That did. But then I do know people are. I mean, people have tried to kill me way before that in my life, too. So I knew that cruel, evil people with demonicness to them actually exist. And they're trying to make it so that we don't realize that this is all created in the dark. That they think that God can't shine his light in there and that we can't do anything about it to defend ourselves. You know. And that's part of, you know, like when they, when they, um, 
when the abuses occur they're um actually conditioning you not to trust your own instincts and by doing that that puts you in immense amount of danger all the time people that are targeted like that you're always in danger from these individuals no matter where you go and that's the truth I mean, we know that when we walk out in society and you can just see the looks or the non-looks on these people's faces and the actual lack of um, human connection is repulsive. I was listening to a very nice lady last night called Miss Faye's World. I'm not sure how old Miss Faye is, but she's really cool. And it's nice listening to somebody relatively my age um, speaking like I'm speaking about the breakdown of the structure of the family and how they're trying to take the female right off the planet. The um, Anything that resembles what a family or a mother or those type of values, they're slaughtering, you know. If all women act like men, then impulsive um sexually impulsive um okay like i'm just gonna say it like it is here um women wave with their hands and men have a tendency to wave with something else you know so that's the control that a man may have over his mind no matter how he chooses to use that is a control a woman should have within her soul as far as nurturing and um, um, instinctively knowing what her family needs and that those type of things are her gifts. We were a gift. Eve was a gift to Adam. A gift from God. You know, that's not to be taken lightly. It's, but God didn't say, here's somebody to serve you. He said, here, she is a gift to you for your companion, your mate. Not a other half, like we're all jumbled up. Uh, that there isn't a separation of genders or never was or that we're some type of creatures that are like lizards that can give birth to their own eggs no it's not like that and has never been like that and it'll never be like that and the push for the baphomet is bullshit a woman could give birth by herself if she was inseminated with a man's sperm when that egg is inseminated by the other gender, you know. It doesn't magically happen within their cells. Perhaps that was maybe what God was in the beginning, the thought of one other gender out of itself something entirely different from but in that image watch for this baphomet push with the both genders mixed up you know watch for that shit i'm i'm you know i'm not gonna cut nobody's throat uh preaching this shit because if somebody's um fallen in line with that par then a Genesis. No, there is no part to the genome in each gender. The chromosomes speak separately. So, and it's in this flesh. You cannot describe what is God within this flesh. And that's what people are trying to do. And that entirely bothers me. You know, yes, we have internal bodies and they're going to be glorious. 
for you and me. But that isn't on this decaying planet of regressed human beings that can't define a woman or a man for Christ's sake. And I'm supposed to what? This is, um, I have a 10-year-old granddaughter's birthday today. Am I supposed to say, um, I almost said her name. <laughs> Am I supposed to say, beautiful little girl, um, I don't know if I'm a man or a woman, but I gave birth to your father and here you are. And we don't really, we can't define how you got here either because it really doesn't matter because all genders are mis mixed up like that, you know. And you have brown hair or brown eyes and red hair like your father because um, I think he came out of his dad's penis. I am not sure, but something tells me that the egg was inside the reptile and something penetrated that situation and they're trying to call it two separate types of human. Yeah, it's called the separated genders, people, you know. And yes, we are different. And the ones that try to mix it have some problems, whether people want to accept them for their illnesses or not, whatever. Once they can prove to me that God's world was made like that, then I'll concede. But knowing that a man and a woman gave, the woman gave birth to a baby after they copulated and it gestated and it grew and she gave birth. And I am absolutely certain that's how life on this planet began. Not from an egg alone, from the guy that was both genders. No, gender didn't have anything with speaking us into existence. Yeah. With those vibrations holding our molecules together on this planet that people take for granted. Part of that too. Um, when these freakazoids do target you and do things to you and keep your stress levels up and everything, use that shit against them. Yes, you're going to get tired. But if you are always in warrior mode and you work out for that reason and you take care of yourself, you're going to scare the fuck out of them no matter what they try to do to you. If you're always holding God's hand, they can't do anything to you but play with you. It's, it's annoying. It's extremely annoying. But it's, it's livable. It's existing. And uh, yes, I need to find a place for peace. And I'll be able to do that coming up here. Saving some and, you know. But, I mean, the thing is, I already have my place paid for, so there's a lot more involved in my job. I'm not just going to leave everything I built to some um, self-proclaimed parthenogenous on this physical plane. Not, not happening. I'm too much of a fighter for that, you know. Who else do you know would uh, wait till somebody got inebriated and kicked their ass out of their house after you broke their legs and threw their suitcases and everything that they he had nothing else to come back for? except to see his children if he wanted. He had every offer before that, 
to even move in a separate room and keep his skanky ass away from me, but that wasn't good enough for this creature, so I kicked his fucking shit out, but I busted him up before I did, and I threw my car keys out at his head, and I said, get the fuck out of here, and I was in my house with a phone, and my utility paid, and everything, and a job, but I had to get to work, <laughs> you know, but I did work that out, too, with no vehicle. I just had had enough of putting my children and myself in danger. So I became super warrior. And it took some planning and it took some doing. But these freaks are not getting away with shit. Don't think they are. I guarantee you that. <laughs> you know? They'll get theirs. I don't see it so much as even karma because their lifestyles leave them um, suffering because of their bad habits. I'm ta not talking like this. I'm talking some like really bad habits that are not even um, human-like. You know, those type of habits, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I've seen people have their buttholes cut out of them because they didn't use them right. And I've seen uh, ones sewed up into the front of her stomach because you don't beat the teeth out of your little children type of thing. God gets them, you know, he does. I watched uh, one of my abusers drop dead from cancer in front of me, but they never learn their lesson. They really never do. You know, they just try to pay the play the game when they start getting weaker. Then they can pretend a little more from what they've learned from real human beings on this planet. They can put on a, a greater mask. It'll fall. I mean, people that that know what this abuse is all about, we can spot them. I mean, the minute they open their filthy mouths, you know. Once you know who they are, you'll see them all over the place. It is an epi epidemic, you know. And the biggest epidemic on this planet is narcissism right now. The people that are targeted, it, we're very few. There's a lot of people who scream we're a target, but they got all this energy to do all these things that they want to do. You know, no apparent physical labor or working out or, you know, like I'll eat a salad and sing type of thing or, um, um, that, that's a bad reference because I'm wanting a salad right now. So, um, no, I think you know what I mean. Like, like the, like nothing's wrong type of attitude, like. You know, come into my internet house and all we have is fun and games and peace over here. And if you break the peace by pointing out somebody's narcissism, we're going to try and smear you type of feeling, you know. That's what happens where I go in my life, you know. If they don't have the guts to literally smear me to my face, you know. Which they try to do, too. That doesn't work out too good for them. They, never. It never does. So I'll do something stupid like stand on one leg and put my leg out in front of me and go like, ta-da, or something like, don't you just fucking hate me, you know? That works. Or laugh when nothing's really apparently funny except for the joke that you just told yourself from looking at these buffoons, you know. That might get you hurt, though, don't you know. <laughs> See, this one I'm with would be violent if he could get away with it. But I reported him. Um, well, one time I had him thrown in jail for hitting my kid with a beer bottle or a tennis shoe. He did both. But um, And then I went to our local woman's shelter and reported him slapping me in my head. 
and so he will be in prison if he does it again. So if I'm willing to let all my animals die, if they take us both in, if something were to be really volatile around here, that part is in his hands, and that's what I don't want to worry about. You know, but this was a long, long time ago. You know, whether it was a long time ago or not, and he jumped on me and literally almost busted me up too. But that's um, um, I've had that type of shit, like sneak attack shit, that I never ever expected, and that's part of your part of your grooming that they try and make you feel safe when you are not safe at all because you don't know what these monsters are going to do. You don't expect it because they put on that nice persona, you know? And if you've been conditioned to just turn the other cheek and look the other way while they're doing their bad deeds, you know, this this is what needs to stop right there because People literally are being conditioned to go against their natural instincts. And that's why I'm I'm not stopping what my what I do, exposing these creeps. Thinking of every word and any word in any legal term. And that's why I love when I run across other professional counselors that are telling people that these creatures are demonic. They are in flesh suits, but they are demons. They made the decision. They know how to make decisions. They know the difference between right and wrong because they can treat other people decent. They can treat you decent in public, but you know what they're like behind the scenes. You get get in the car and go somewhere with them things. Get out. Oh, and then when they get older, they're nastier in public too. You know, the mass falls. They don't have the same glee of greeting the world, if you know what I mean. You know, they appear to, but like I say, it's kind of like the waving versus the, the, um, uh, arousal of the whole situation, you know. kind of like a narcissist switch is turned off too with their own bloodline as far as arousal is concerned. If they um, feel like having sex and they're aroused, they don't care who they destroy, even their own children. And that's a fact. Even mentally, thinking things or saying things to a child and in front of a child that should never be said they are masters at this as far as annihilating the younger people on this planet. Everybody is being conditioned to be a narcissist. Do you know that? Cold-hearted nothingness. No soul. Soulless. The soulless society they want is being implemented and we need to fight against it and te teach our youth this is not the way you talk to people. This is not the way you do things. Manners are important, values, integrity, and family, all the good things on this planet that keep this planet healthy and going around for its humans. That's the truth. That's the logical truth. Nothing else is um, real. Nothing else will sustain this planet or the people on it besides the truth of what families and human beings really are and what makes this world go around. Isn't that true? I'm sure there's gay people that watch me or bisexual and you're thinking, well, I never wanted kids anyway, or I had kids anyway. Well, good for you, you know. And then your offsprings will be conditioned to follow the great buffoon. You did a good job. Good on you. We reap 
what we sow and what we teach the next generation, and it's very important. And if you happen to have screwed up in the past, you better straighten that shit up for their sake. But then you would have to believe that there was a God greater than yourself and greater than the one that's in control of this planet right now. And the free will that you were given, perhaps you abused, and they definitely did abuse, and that it's coming to an end. Because when's the last time you have heard an older woman speak like me or act like me? Have you ever? Something's changed, hasn't it? I'm not your typical grandma, am I? <laughs> I think that's why my granddaughters just love me, because I am not like other people's grandma. I don't want to run around and say I'm 17 years old in my head forever. To me, that's disgusting. And people that go after younger um, people, that's disgusting. We have nothing in common but a life experience before you annihilate somebody younger. There's no, um, there's no way that, say, like a 20-year difference of life experience is ever going to be a, a good thing on this planet like they want to have implemented, annihilating the youth as soon as they can. That's what they're, just like child brides and the rest of their abuses. So, well, I'm going to share Donish's um, video with you. Please share it out. It's like the most um, uh, informative, sensible, things I think all compacted in one video that I think will and, and it it's it's uh, not very long like I said it's a, it's a wonderful video please take the time to watch it and share it even if you don't feel like you're a victim of narcissism I think everybody in this world from our governments are and we can all benefit from this video. I promise you, it's phenomenal. And I think you'll just like this person anyway, because most people that I would say, I think you're going to like them, or I would even have a cup of coffee or hang around with this person. That's, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> or make a meal for him, because I think he's so sweet. He's the sweetest young man, you know. So, one of the sweetest. <laughs> I'm sure there's many of you watching me too, young men and women, or ones my age or whatever. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. You're all valuable to me. Um, if you're not part of the Dark Cabal, you have my whole heart. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Talk to you soon. Have a good night or day, wherever you're at.